Hey guys, welcome back to our awesome enterprise video tutorial. In this video, I will demonstrate the integer, date, and the number data type. So, in the last video, we have learned the string data type. So, going forward, I am just commenting this code to avoid the confusion. And let's start with today's topic. So, in the first, we will see the integer data type. So, let's create an integer variable by using in.create. So, this will create the 12 value as integer and we will set it into variable template.int12. So, let's check the output. This is our int12 variable and the value is integer 12 now let's create template dot set int string because as this is the default data type is string so it will create the string let's check the output this will create the string 14 variable the data type of 14 is string so let's convert this into an integer in dot get template dot str underscore 14 and let's set the output o dot set equal to template dot st integer 14 so let's go and check now you can see the integer 14 now the data type of 14 is converted to int so this is what about the integer data type you can assign the default value to integer as well if the value is empty let's say we are creating a variable that is empty variable empty variable so we will create the empty variable and now we will set the output in dot get empty var and set the default value default equal to 50 right and into o dot set equal to template dot default well so let's go and check the output so this is our empty variable if the value is empty then we are setting it to default that is 50 so this is all about integer now let's create the date variable by using date dot create now so it means we are creating a date with current date time so we can set the date format equal to equal to y m t so we are just creating a date o dot set template dot dt now let's check the date as well you can see the date variable now now let's create number variable by using number dot create that is 30 o dot set template dot number 16 so it will create the float value of 30 now let's go back and check this is the float value 
we are assigning it to num30 variable now we can convert the string value to number now number dot get table table let dot str str sixty o dot set template dot number sixty so let's assign the value to this variable that is template dot set assign a 60 value to variable and let's check the output now this is our string str60 we are converting it to number so when so this is all about the data types so now in the next video we will learn the array so see you in the next video